Hello everyone! If you've been following what's been going on in the chess world for the past couple of days, uh, you must have seen the thing uh, everyone is talking about. And by the thing, uh, I mean this. Uh, this is the new World Chess Championship uh, logo that will be used in 2018 for the match between uh, Magnus Carlsen and whoever wins the candidates. Uh, the match will be held in London and this is the logo type uh, they came up with. So a lot of people are saying it's it's just wrong, you know, it it kind of reminds you of something that you'd find in a, in a Kama Sutra book. Uh, some are saying think of the children, some are saying, uh, I mean, they're saying a lot of things. Uh, so I'm very interested, uh, what do you think about the logo? Have you seen it before? Is this the first time you see it? And what do you think? Is this the way uh, that, you know, chess should be presented in 2018 to the world? Uh, is uh, what's actually the message here? So I, I will bring it back after I show you the game and the game for this video is actually a game between uh, the founders of chess.com, between Eric the CEO and Jay the CTO. Uh, they decided to do a reaction video to this uh, brand new World Chess Championship logo. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it out. It's, uh, it's quite an interesting video. Uh, they're actually playing uh, interwined uh, <laughs> like the two figures there uh, and th with the chessboard in the middle of them, in between them. Uh, so let's see this game between uh, Eric uh, and J. Uh, Eric has the white pieces and he opens with e4. Uh, we have c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to c3, uh, the closed Sicilian, uh, knight to c6, uh, g3, g6, and bishop to g2, the, the fianchetto variation of the closed Sicilian. Uh, bishop g7, now d3, d6, pretty symmetrical position, uh, and f4 by Eric. Uh, knight to h6, although uh, knight to f6 was also, uh, you know, playable, there's nothing wrong with knight to f6, uh, but he plays knight to h6, maybe with some ideas of playing bishop to g4 at some point, but uh, who knows. Uh, knight to f3, we have castles, castles, and bishop to d7, now not going for the more active bishop g4. Uh, bishop to e3, uh, queen to c7, and h3 now. Uh, stopping any bishop g4 or knight g4 ideas. Uh, rook a to c8, we have queen to d2 and e6 now. Uh, and this this e6 move is actually a pretty big blunder as uh, Eric had the option of playing f5 now, this wins a piece, there is no, the knight has nowhere to go, bishop captures and h6 is coming, uh, or he would have to capture the f-pawn with the knight, but uh, as I don't think they're actually playing this game for real, this is just, you know, uh, a, a game to include in the video, just uh, uh, to talk about the new chess championship logo. So rook a to d1, uh, rook f to e8, and g4 now. Uh, f5, and now there is a square here uh, that is freed for the knight, the knight can retreat if white decides to push g5. Uh, we have g captures on f5, e captures on f5, and knight to g5 now. Uh, f captures on e4, we have d captures on e4, and knight to d4. And there is uh, always option for white to go. Knight to d5 here, attacking the queen, kick the queen to b8, then push c3, kick the knight from d4. Uh, but uh, it seems that Eric goes by the old saying, the threat is stronger than the execution. So he, he waits with this, knight to b5 or d5 will always be an option. Uh, and he pushes f5. Uh, we have g captures on f5 and only now does he play knight to d5 with a tempo on the queen. And in this position uh, the CTO of chess.com, Jay, uh, said that he couldn't really <laughs> maintain that position anymore, that uh, he was uh, falling back and uh, uh, he played e, uh, f captures on e4. Uh, he left the queen hanging but uh, Eric uh, didn't capture the queen uh, he played knight captures on e4, and as they say in the article you will find in the description below, uh, they say in this position white resigned from physical exhaustion. So yeah, uh, that's the game uh, played between uh, founders of chess.com. It's quite a quite an impressive game, uh, especially you know when you're playing in that position uh, from the thumbnail, and you will also see it in the video uh, in the description below. Uh, but let's see that uh, logo one more time. So this is the logo. This is a uh, what they plan to use to present chess in 2018. It's a, uh, it's a uh, you know, 
uh, Jay, <laughs> Jay and Eric say that uh, it's uh, quite interesting because now now mostly uh, chess is played, you know, uh, on screens, you know, between people from uh, different sides of the sides of the planet, and this really makes it, you know, uh, a pers a more personal game. Two people come together, uh, they, you know, join join hands, join join legs, they tangle with each other, and uh, they play a nice game. So yeah, basically this is what I wanted to ask you. Uh, how did you enjoy this logo? Uh, do you think it's a bit too much? Do you, do you like it? Do you think it's very modern? Uh, is it you know? Do you also think we should think about the children, uh, or do you have do you have anything uh, anything other to add to this uh, to this quite quite an impressive idea? So yeah, uh, th that's the game. Uh, that's the question basically. Not the game. The game is there. Only, only, only to uh, talk about this new World Chess Championship logo. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you who've seen it for the first time, and uh, do share your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. Uh, thank you all for watching, uh, and I will see you soon.